Zika virus is a virus, virus known since the late 40s, 50s. Until uh, the late 2000s, it was not it was not considered as a public health threat uh, in the regions where it was circulating, or it had circulated. Uh, the uh, introduction of a virus in the Americas and confirmed by laboratory in May 2015 was, uh, of course, uh, news for us. Aldigari from Paho, who is in charge of international health records. The speed of the dissemination of the Zika virus in the Americas is related to two main factors. First, the population is totally naive in terms of immunology against this virus. And naive, it means that you don't have an immunity among the population against this new virus. This is the first point. The second point is that the vector, Aedes aegypti, is everywhere in the Americas, from southern United States to northern Argentina. There are few exceptions. Canada and the continent of Chile. So it means you have these two pieces of the puzzle, the immunity and the vector. So this explains the speed of the dissemination of the virus in the American region. So I just worried uh, perhaps I dated them and Bruce Elwood. Um... Regarding uh, the uh, outbreak of microcephaly, in Northeast Brazil and in the state of Brazil, but starting with Northeast Brazil. This is an event which was detected much later. It was, there were suspicions of doctors, physicians in October, and more evidence in reports uh, with clear data of this outbreak of microcephaly in Northeast Brazil. And we have used during uh, the briefing to the member states the example of the state of Pernambuco and uh, you have noticed this dramatic increase in 2015 of microcephaly. Microcephaly is something which unfortunately happens on a regular basis. There is a, a baseline of microcephaly reported by the uh, hospitals in, in Brazil and the detection above this threshold was uh, clear in late October, November 2015. Derek, you have a microphone for a... Uh,